guys. Um, I was in the elk again this morning. It was in like a perfect spot. And uh, all of a sudden the elk kind of blew up. I didn't know why, because my wind was good. I wasn't making any noise. They couldn't see me. But then I realized that there was four other hunters in a group up above. I didn't know they were there, but it, I mean, it almost worked perfect. They almost pushed them right through to me, but just didn't quite align perfect. So anyways, I'm trying my best to get these videos out, but it's really hard with how little I'm sleeping. So I'm gonna do my best try to make it every day every other day I'm gonna do my best um, so anyways I'm out here solo hunting right now just working with the wind in my face it's really still out straight towards with the wind in my face and it's a really good area so we'll see what happens hopefully bump something my dad is in a tree stand on top of a big mountain where the big bulls seem to go to bed. So hopefully with all this commotion going on today, that's where they head. So anyways guys, stay tuned. Like I said, I'm going to do my best. Talk to you guys soon. So you guys, a crazy thing just happened. I'm just sitting here. Taking a break, and all of a sudden I, I hear something. That look and spike is right here, coming straight towards me. He walked right here, and then got behind that pile and went that way. Anyway, I got the footage on my phone, so I'll put it. In the, it's on my Instagram right now. Just my name, James Visser. It's my Instagram. Um, but I'll try to put it in the YouTube clip as well. So anyways, it's been a really good morning. And that's definitely the closest I've got to elk this trip. I was, let me see here, nine yards. So, pretty cool. See you guys later. Alright guys, it is the afternoon of day three been in elk constantly. Probably could have shot five or six elk by now. But they were all small so I passed. I'm currently going into this nasty seed canyon. I wish you could see how steep this was. But uh, anyways it's really thick and nasty. And my pops wanted me to check it out so I'm heading down here and we are going to meet at a tank uh, where he's going to drive the ranger to and pick me up and then we're going to hunt the evening so anyways guys it's been a phenomenal hunt doing the best I can to get videos out and, uh, it's hard it's hard just because it's such minimal sleep, but uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs> don't hunt or people that road hunt don't get to experience I mean you know this isn't a nat <coughs> this isn't a national park or anything but I mean nobody's seen this very few people have ever been down here and seen this you know I just I think that's really cool and uh go in places where 
very few people ever have or will go. So anyways, guys, it gets dark at 7. It's 3.30. And at this point, I'm kind of just expecting to get into elk this evening just the way things have been going. But you never know. We could see nothing, which is fine, too. I just like being out here. And uh, if we do get into elk, Hopefully I see a good shooter bull, and if it comes right up to, you know, within a shooting window for me, so. Anyways guys, thank you for watching the videos. See you in the next one.